to land your first job or contract as a junior developer, you need three things. You need skills, you need a network, you need motivation. So for the skills, you either acquire these skills as a self-taught programmer or in a boot camp or in college. Very often you will notice that your profile won't match all the skills required in a job offer. It doesn't matter, apply anyway, but don't lie. This is very important. So maybe you will find a job where the recruiter will require to know React and maybe Node and Postgre and I don't know, you can add anything you want, but then you simply have to apply and to mention that you're ready to learn the other skills. This is what I did, this is my students did, it works. As long as you show that you're motivated and that you are ready to learn extra skills, it works simply because chances are there are zero junior developers who will match all the skills that are required. Second, the network. It's very important to, to have a network, to, to create a network. But as a junior developer, how could you have a network? It's simple. You had colleagues at school or in a boot camp or as a self-taught programmer, maybe you often went to a specific YouTube channel or a Discord channel. So if you're active on online communities, you have a network and then you have to interact with guys and that will allow you to know when your colleagues will land a job that maybe in their company they are also looking for another programmer. Or, or very often, this happened to me several times, you apply to maybe five or ten jobs and then you will receive not one but two or three positive uh, answers, which means that you will end up getting recruited for two jobs. So simply instead of saying no to a recruiter whose uh, job you won't accept, redirect him to someone in your network, someone you know that he's motivated, who has skills. The, the good thing is your colleagues will do the same for you. So when they land a job or a contract, they will be contacted maybe again by, by other recruiters and they will redirect them to you if you build this network. It's very important. The third very important thing that is often neglected is motivation. And I saw this often. See, it's not the kind of positive thinking exploited by motivation crooks or con men, I call them however you want, but you know them. There are lots of them on social networks. You really need to be sincerely motivated and be sure that if you keep progressing, if you keep while you look for a job, if you keep work and side projects, you will improve and you will eventually land a job because forget about all these GAFAM firing lots of people. They are not in competition with you. They are senior guys. They are senior developers. So these senior developers are not applying to the same kind of jobs you are applying to. Forget about AI that could replace you. It's not the case yet and it may, it may not be the case before 5, 10 or 15 years because there are millions of lines of codes to be maintained. There are thousands of apps to be developed and ChatGPT and all these other AIs are not ready to do the job on their own. So if you have any other advice to give because you've landed a job or maybe you're already an intermediate or senior developer and want to share with other people who will land their first job, please leave a comment.